back from the dead. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C and welcome to another League of Legends video and in today's video we're going to be talking about a one trick pony Korean Shaco player who's currently in Diamond 2 with a 76% win rate. Now I couldn't find out if this is a Smurf account, I don't think it is because I couldn't find another high elo Korean player who takes Smite and Flash. Most Shaco players would take Smite and Ignite or Smite and Exhaust something like that but he takes Flash which is pretty rare nowadays on Shaco players um, but also in his previous seasons in season 2 he was gold season 3 he was platinum and then it looks like he maybe stopped playing for a bit and he went back down to silver and then in season 5 it was silver once again but now he's worked his way back up to diamond 2 playing Shaco only and in the previous seasons he never played Shaco so maybe he's just found his champion so let's get right into this guide. So firstly the main reason I want to talk about the Shaco player is because he is one of the very few that takes flash on Shaco. Also he doesn't like to invade level 2. Most Shaco players would look to invade and try and get an early cheese kill with Ignite. So he has a different playstyle so this is why I wanted to do this guide. So firstly let's talk about his mastery page and he takes a pretty standard mastery page on Shaco with 12 points in ferocity and 18 points in cunning and then his keystone mastery is Thunderlords. So that's a pretty standard page. You guys can just pause the video if you would like to copy it if you want to. So moving on to his runes, he takes 8 attack damage reds, 1 attack speed red, then 9 armor yellows, 9 ability power blues, 1 attack damage quints, and then the 2 attack speed quints. He took this exact same rune page in every single game that I looked at, so he doesn't have any different rune pages in different matchups or team comps. Next we'll talk about his item build. So his starting items will always be the Hunter's Machete, a refillable potion, and a yellow trinket. And then his standard build order, now it's not going to be the exact same build order every single game, because he may back with an awkward amount of gold, so he may be forced to get the Moby Boots before the Tiamat, or the Warrior before the Tiamat, or the Dusk Blade before the Warrior, but this is the standard build order that he would go with. So starting with the Stalker's Blade and the Hunter's Potion, he obviously likes upgrading his Refillable Potion into the Hunter's Potion for the Mana Sustain, and then he would build into a Tier Mat, get Moby Boots, then Warrior, and then finally Dusk Blade. Now his 6 item build would look 90% of the time something like this, so the Warrior Enchantment, Tier Mat, Moby Boots, Dusk Blade, Phantom Dancer, and then the Hex Trinker. But obviously that is not his full item build, so what he would do once he gets those 6 items is actually sell his warrior enchantment and buy an infinity edge and he would do this before upgrading his tier mat or hex drinker. So once he buys that infinity edge he would then upgrade his tier mat into a hydra, either a ravenous hydra or a titanic hydra. He seems to you know, choose between the two every second game. So I guess if he wants the lifesteal he would get the ravenous hydra and if he wants more health he would get the titanic hydra and then finally he would upgrade his hex drinker into a more of Malmordius. Now he doesn't seem to build any other items apart from these like he doesn't build ghost blade or any of those items but another item that I did see him buy occasionally is a guardian angel so that's probably the only other item he goes with and then obviously his elixir would be the elixir of wrath. Just quickly in fact he did build blood razor in a couple of games now it wasn't very many games it was just a few games here and there but I think it's just because it was a new item he was testing it out and he's still kind of testing it out and to see if he likes it but overall I highly recommend going with warrior instead of blood razor I don't quite see how blood razor would work really well on Shaco. I guess it won't be too bad Bad, but I think warrior is much better or not even upgrading to your full jungle item is another viable option So I guess you can obviously try out blood razor, but overall I would recommend getting the warrior enchantment instead So then his skill order so he starts with W and then gets E second So the reason he gets E second is because he doesn't look to invade level 2 and get that level 2 early cheese kill So he gets E instead because he's just going to be farming his jungle but obviously just like every other Shaco main he maxes E first, Q second and then W third and then his ultimate whenever he can. So finally the moment you've all been waiting for is his jungle path so he's going to be starting in the bot side so he can get his leash from his bot lane. Now he probably doesn't need the leash but he does get a leash in this game so what he does is at is it 40 seconds he puts down one box is it, I think it's 40 seconds we'll have a look now so he puts down one box at or oh, is it 45? It's about 40 seconds. Yeah, about 40 seconds he puts down one box at the Krugs or in the bot lane. 
and then once he gets his second box up he'll put his second box there so there at one minute he puts his second box and then he's going to put his third box just outside red and then he's going to put his fourth box alongside that box as well just outside red so that's a pretty interesting start so it could be pretty annoying if he does get invaded early on and that could screw up his um, choice in his jungle path but this is what he would usually do so there you go he puts down his third box just outside red and then he's going to put his fourth one there as well and then he's going to go start Krugs with his bot lane get a bit of a leash and he's not going to smite it so he starts W and then he's just going to take this uh, the Krugs away without smiting it and get his level 2 and then at level 2 he's going to take his E and you see he's still full health so it's a pretty quick clear as well so Shaka's got a really quick clear and he puts down his third box and then kites or brings out the red buff and then takes down the red buff. Does he smite it? He doesn't have to smite it. He doesn't even smite the red buff. So he still hasn't used smite at all. And he's taken down two of his camps. So then he skips chickens or the wraith camp. And he goes straight for blue buff. So he's got red buff now and he goes straight for blue buff. He doesn't do the wolf camp. And let's see, I think he took E. He definitely took E. And so he's going to put down the one box and then he's going to take away the blue and he's going to smite it already or straight away to get the extra mana so he takes that away so once he gets the blue buff he would then look to gank either top lane or in the mid lane uh, in this game he goes to the top lane but he sees that the fizz is backing off so he can't pull off a gank in the top lane so he just goes straight to the mid lane and looks for a gank on the Orianna with the red buff unfortunately uh, the gank didn't go as planned and they didn't even get a flash so ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And as always, have a nice day.